Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Scorpio. What does your guides and angels and ancestors want you to know for January 2023? You can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about, could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So uh, we're going to take a look and see what your guides and your angels and your ancestors want you to know. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Scorpio here. Tell me about Scorpio. What does Scorpio's guides, angels, and ancestors want Scorpio to know for uh, January 2023 for Scorpio? Oh, all right, we have Justice, Libra energy. Okay, you might have Libra on your chart here, Scorpio. The Emperor, Aries energy. So what's happening here is I feel like you're stepping up to the plate. Could be learning your lessons here. It could be in this like very balanced energy. I do feel like you caught you are in this kind of like authoritative figure like energy here. Some of you guys could be judges or something like that, or work in the law field or something. All right, or that you guys own your own businesses. We have the five of swords here and the hangman. You know, I feel like you're sitting on your throne here and I feel like you have haters out there and I feel like you're unbothered by your haters, okay? So whatever is going on here, I just feel like you're on a really good, clear path here because, you know, you do have protection and assistance from your guys and your angels and your ancestors here. The hangman, Piscean energy. Yeah, whatever these people are jealous of, hating on you on, I just feel like you don't care. World card and the seven of cups, you know, you just have better things to worry about here, okay? I mean, this could be an indication that you know, you learned a lot of lessons here. You know, I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't really bother you anymore like it used to, okay? So it could be that, you know, a karmic cycle is closing out here for you too, all right? Um, the world and the seven of cups, tell me about justice here. Ta Ace of wands, okay? Tell me about the emperor here. You know, I just feel like your life is going so well. Yeah, your life is going so well right now. I, I do feel like there are haters here. You don't, it's kind of like bring it on, you know? And it's sort of like you don't care either. Okay, um, the star card, Ace of Wands here, you know, I feel like you guys are really tapped in or really connected to divine here or the uh, or a higher power. You guys are focusing on your healing or doing your healing work. All right, some of you guys are incredibly innovative here too. So, you know, maybe that's something regarding your business. Maybe you do create like innovative businesses or innovative products here. Okay, tell me about the Five of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. Hangman, Knight of Pentacles, whoever this is. I mean, this could be a friend or family member here. And I just feel like this is an individual that's jealous of you, um, you know, of where you're at in life. I'm getting a bit of a takedown energy here from this King of Pentacles, okay? I do feel like this King of Pentacles and this Knight of Pentacles is the same person here, okay? So I feel like there is an energy of like playing a bit of pretend here, okay? You know, they could be stealing your ideas here or something like that. But um, just make sure who you surround yourself here with. I and mean, I feel like you know. Yeah, I feel like you know. Uh, tell me about the worlds. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. There is someone here that's definitely trying to sabotage you. And I also feel like this is not the first time. I feel like whoever this individual is, I feel like this person does it in a very subtle way here. Yeah. This is so interesting because I really feel like you're giving yourself space to really enjoy what's going on in your life and really giving yourself space to really kind of like, you know, accept what's going on around you here too. Yeah. 
you know, two of pentacles, seven of cups, you know, there could be an indication that you guys are juggling a lot here. You guys have a lot on your plate here too, okay? So uh, what else do we have here for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to look out for, work on here? What other messages do we have here for Scorpio from their guides and angels and ancestors for January 2023 for Scorpio? Yeah, I just feel like, you know, the haters are hating on you and they just feel like you just don't even care. Um, four swords here and ten, yeah, you don't care. You know, I just feel like you're just focusing on better things, like bigger and better things here. Yeah, your guides and your angels and your ancestors are actually like, you know, any energy that's coming towards you, it's, I feel like it's being bounced off. Yeah, it's being deflected here. So nothing's really affecting you. <laughs> we have the death card here and the queen of swords. So Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Death card here, Scorpio energy. So, you know, I feel like you as a person really changed a lot. You know, I feel like a lot of times, you know, you know how people treated you at, at some point, you know, it, it, you felt like it was a, a direct reflection of who you are. And I feel like you're realizing it's not like that. Okay. Um, we have the Queen of Wands here and the Two of Cups. Very, very, very interesting. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Two of Cups here. You might have a decision to make between two people when it comes to love here too, okay? So, you know, I just feel like, you know, there's an energy of like, you know, not really forcing the decision. You know, you, I just feel like you're kind of like waiting and seeing and see what comes towards you or see, you know, what answers you get because I feel like there's an energy of like not rushing like a decision here either, okay? Tell me about the Four of Swords. So I have the Four of Swords here. We have the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about this Temperance card. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's a lot of people in and around you here, Scorpio. But there's, there could be indication that, you know, maybe you're missing someone here when it comes to a relationship here. Let's see what else we have here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Death card. We have the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Hermit here. So Scorpio, this might resonate with one of you guys, and I feel like there could be someone that's close to you that might have gotten in an accident here, and I feel like this person might be crossing over soon. Yeah, because I feel like their injuries are too severe, and I do feel like this person might just pass in their sleep here. Yeah, this is random. All right, Nine of Wands and the Death card. Yeah, someone here got in a severe accident here. I feel like someone in here was hit by something or someone here was crushed by something here. All right, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Queen of Wands here. I mean, you might even intuitively be picking up that this might be coming to an end. Uh, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands, Two of Swords. That's not the Two of Swords. The Two of Cups and the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo. Someone here could be manifesting a relationship or manifesting you back. There's something, someone definitely is coming back towards you, but I feel like this is someone that you're blocking out. Your life has changed so much. You're not even going back to a past person. You're just focusing on a new relationship. Now, let's say if there's a new relationship coming towards you, someone here is in hot pursuit of you. You're being chased here, Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.